market trade, it was good because for now I was not having much money to buy some big gadgets like laptops, watch, cameras, but for now, I'm still using my smartphone. I can edit something which is good for my future. Like, I was seeing many videos like Christmas, what, colors, whatever, but for now, I can edit my own things using my phone. The training was far good on my side because I didn't know that there was an app that can edit videos, photos, and it's full of effects like transitions, what, so I'm going, it's going to keep me busy home. I've obtained like a lot of skills, the media, the social media skills that to post valuable things on my account, Twitter, what, Instagram, all, and also to be me, to be me, and also to say this, that it's my turn, yeah. You would want first save in your garden before you, so save to gather and see. Of course, it's going to tell you that uh, no thanks, save with watermark. Let us continue with watermark. The training has been excellent because I, I didn't know that I can use my smartphone to, to, do, to do video editing using a smartphone. But right now I can do it. I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot a small video. I'm going to edit it using my, my smartphone. Then I will do it and post it at Facebook and other social media channels. Remember, you are interested in producing a high quality video. Um. It's good and I have learned how to edit photos and videos using my smartphone and also to communicate valuable things on the media. Ah, I'm going to communicate valuable messages with my friends and also to communicate to valuable people. For example, um, when I want to communicate to big people, Maybe when I'm looking for a job, also to communicate. Now, what you do, save in a HD format. Uh, cutting the training has been very good to me because it's my first time to have such like a uh, training about the social media and I've learned a lot where but I never knew how to do my own audio and I'm so happy that I have learned something from today I can really add, add more to the extent that I can really make my own video. If at all I want to make a song or anything. According to like the skills I've gained from today or what I'm going to gain more and more, I'm going to try to, to, to okay, talk to my community or my, yeah, my fellow youths how they can get used into technology and how they should be very keen and careful on what they should post on social media as you've told us all too much wild. Then, after saving HD format, then you can come back. I must say this has been a great opportunity for us because initially we thought that for somebody to actually have all these skills they need to be at Makere studying journalism but the fact that you guys have been able to come and actually make us understand that this thing can be done in such a short time and anyone can actually do it if they have the passion. I think to me it's been a wonderful experience from you guys. I think I'm going to be able to use the skills because at SmartUp, one thing that we've been lacking is you know, the skills to report and do all the things that you've taught us. So I hope that after this training, I'm going to be able to tell the stories in my community, starting from the factory up to outside. Like I said, if you share your story with you uh, on YouTube, Facebook, and all these platforms, people will watch, people will get time to watch this story. The challenge initiative to come over and give us the training. I think that the youth really benefited from it. Um, you will find that like most youth around Uganda, they think that you need a big equipment in order to shoot a video or to capture news. But I like that you guys came in and told them like, okay, you can do this over the smartphone rather than like having to buy like a million um, worth of equipment in order to capture the news. So I, I, I found that was really really good. Well, it's interesting because it, it has actually been a challenge here at SmartUp to try and capture what's been going on in the community. Um, 
again there's so much like you know Kawempe is a slum area or ghetto if you may want to call it um, and it's really hard to go out there and try and capture a video because people are really really known um, well comfortable I guess with the camera so if you bring like a huge equipment try and shoot a video in the slum people are going to be like why are they capturing my life experience it's mine alone so they they're protective about it uh, but if you just like record a video nobody's going to even think that you're actually trying to capture news so I feel like this is going to be like an opportunity because we know how to capture news using a smartphone it's going to be an opportunity to actually go deeper into like trying to capture people's lives so that we can make it feel better so I think as a youth mentor that's something like I'm really really excited about just taking like um, not videos about people but like capturing news that way